the automotive industry catches a cold, the robotics industry catches the flu. And in 2010, the automotive industry caught a whole lot more than a cold. You know, I'm working for a major robot manufacturer and we were really struggling. And it was incumbent on my group, uh, the technology advancement group, and our colleagues in the marketing department to go find something else for robots to go do. Find another market that's not tied to the automotive sales cycle. I spent 18 months sort of mapping out the robotics development horsepower in America, Canada, Mexico. Found this sort of undercurrent. Everybody there in all these research institutes was talking about ROS, this robot operating system. And it was clear that ROS was going to have an important role to play in where robotics needed to go. So I met Eric because he was going around the country trying to find the the best and brightest places for robotics development. But I kind of filed it in the back of my mind that, you know, he, he was very forward thinking. I was working at an R&D research institution and we started to hear about this thing called ROS. We, we were able to do things with an industrial platform that we hadn't been able to do in the past um, by leveraging the power of ROS. And I called Eric and I told him what I was gonna do. And he was 100% behind me from the very beginning. But I fully realized that I was not the person to bring this to broader industry or broader audience. You know, I knew the, the perfect person for that. That was, that was Paul. I was working in the same lab with Sean uh, at this nonprofit research organization. And so I kind of perked up when he and others in the lab started talking about ROS, the robot operating system. This is the new holy grail. Uh, and it's open source, so it was growing at a wild pace. Every month we'd hear about new groups uh, putting out new libraries or um, getting involved. And he asked, hey, Paul, um, you know, we, we need to really divide and conquer on this in order to establish a community around Ross Industrial. Uh, I was like, wow, what an amazing opportunity. And that's basically how um, the Ross Industrial Consortium was born. When we talked to Eric and his company, uh, they got on board pretty quickly. And in fact, their company was the first major robot company to join Ross Industrial. So we were working together through the Ross Industrial Consortium and we were able to get to know each other in that context. And as we were able to see how this advanced capability was finding different commercial applications, this little green light kind of went off in our heads and we said, you know, we should really take our own advice and um, go off on our own venture to apply the technology that we're really knowing, getting to know very well, to uh, some advanced applications. 